I just went into those games knowing I was in the shape of my life and nothing else could put me down. And so I went there not to win the 800 metre gold medal. I mean, let's face it, you saw my eyes at the end of the line popping out my head. Never thought I'd win that. We all <laughs> remember that picture, the, the, that look yeah. of, I've done it. And almost that, well, the disbelief yeah. probably. And Wouldn't then it? you realised that it was, it was amazing. I'd won, I went into the 800 knowing I was in the shape of my life that I could win a medal and what it would take to win, one minute 56 something. And I just ran at how I thought I could win a medal. To watch that race, to see her come from the back, but this time crossing first place was just, I mean, yeah, still goosebumps, like 16 years on. I think the thing with Kel is obviously awesome athlete, but brilliant tactician. I mean, when you look back at those races, she judges it perfectly right, the 800 metres. You know, she keeps to the back because she knows the pace is fast and that people are going to fold, and the perfect pace judgement that she had, knowing that she could come through. If I hadn't have won the 800, I think I would have personally put pressure on myself to win something that was a dream for 20 years. You know, since I watched Sebastian Coe win the 1500 metres, I always wanted to be a 1500 metre Olympic champion. If I look at performance, trying to complete an 800 and a 1500 metre double is tough. I tried it on two occasions and buggered up on both of them. And it's not just about, uh, it's not just about winning two races. In Kelly's case, it was winning something that she'd worked half her life to achieve and then bouncing back a few days later to try and climb the mountain a second time. Her performance in Athens was one of the things that made people actually think, wow, um, maybe they, you know, maybe they are serious, maybe they do have some athletes. And, and certainly that was the turning point in our bid. When we look back, we often say the turning point we we're bidding was 2004 Athens, when our athletes were amazing. I was in the warm-up area waiting to go out and compete in the 5,000 metres and the team staff said to me, Kelly's just won the Olympics. I was like, what, a, like the emotion and like the thrill that gave me to know that she just won the Olympic Games. It was very surreal as I warmed up to go out and do um, my own race and it gave me a massive boost. I felt in the final like I was floating. It's such a weird thing to say to people. I literally felt like something was holding me up and I'm just going through like almost like a movie. People were silhouettes, you know, I just, the only person I knew was behind me was Ben Hasse because she won a silver medal in the 800 metres. And then I was like, this tonne of weight went off me and I had Angel tattooed on my shoulder because I seriously believe that, you know, when you go through journeys in life, maybe it's for a reason. Of course, she overcame so many injuries earlier in her career and really just getting that phase of being injury free, she could show people what she could do. And, um, you know, it was nice to see her actually get the rewards of all the years she'd put in. And I don't think I'd ever have won two gold medals without that journey. So I'd go for it again if it made me win two golds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.